On this problem, it's asking you to write the complex number in trigonometric form. Remember, in order to be able to rewrite it in trigonometric form, I need two items. I need r and I need theta. To find r, we are going to use the formula r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, where x is negative 5 square root of 3, and y it's only negative 5. So let me do the substitution. r is equal to square root of negative 5 square root of 3 square plus negative 5 square. And if I simplify this, for the first one, the square belongs to them both. So it'll be negative 5 square is 25. If I square this, this gives me 25, and the square root and the square cancels, so it gives me times 3, which is 75. So r is equal to the square root of 75. If I simplify this, this negative 5 squared is 25. So therefore, r is equal to the square root of 100. r is equal to 10. And then I need theta. To find theta, we're going to use tangent of the angle theta is y over x, which is negative 5, and the x is negative 5 square root of 3. The negative 5 cancel, so it's going to be positive. And I'm going to rationalize my denominator. So I'm going to multiply by the square root of 3. That will give me the tangent of theta is equal to the square root of 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 gives me 3. So therefore, I'm looking for two angles, or an angle, that the tangent is square root of 3 over 3. So therefore, we know that's going to be our 30 degrees. The tangent of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3, positive. And the other positive angle is on quadrant number 3. So therefore, it will be 30 degrees or 210 degrees. And to decide which of those two angles we are using will be negative and negative. So if I plot it, it will be negative to the left and negative down. So it will be 210 degrees. So we can write down as 10 cosine i sine of 210 degrees, so therefore your answer is letter E.